Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Osman. It is Monday, and welcome to another very special week of House of Games. It's another House of Champions. We've got four former winners back to join us. One of them will be walking away with a golden trophy. Our four former winners this week are June Sarpong, <laughs> Richard Herring, Kate Williams, and Dame Baptiste. Welcome back, one and all. This is June. You're back, but you've proved yourself already. We know you can win. Uh, but this time, you've got to beat these champions. How are you going to go about that? I don't know, because I hear these three are very good. A couple of them are. <laughs> <laughs> we, hear this, we hear that about you, Jude. Don't, yeah. don't be fooled by what you've heard. <laughs> but, uh, Richard, yes. you've got yourself a, a silver trophy. Yeah. Uh, I bet you'd like a golden one. I really would now. I've seen it's made of solid gold. It is <laughs> solid. It's almost impossible to lift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, really is. Kate, now, someone at the end of the week is going to win our trophy, but at the end of every day, there's still daily prizes to win. Should we take a look at today's daily prizes? Oh, yes, please. There's a little change from normal in that they are all rubbish, but they're all gold. <laughs> oh! So, uh, you've got the golden dressing gown there, or karate kit, whatever you yes. want to call it. The bookends. There is a pocket watch, uh, just in case you were in Victorian London. There's the <laughs> sparkling there. wine and the black and gold oh, dark board. Dark board. Well, you know, Richard, I got a... I, among my amazing haul last time, I got a Richard Osman pasta maker. So, oh, uh, how is that working it, out for it's, you? It makes perfect pasta with your face on it. Ooh. Well, that is one of it's... the worst things I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the Italians would call that. So, I could have... If I won the wine, I could have pasta and wine all themed. How lovely. The one thing I will say is whatever you do, don't drink the wine. <gasps> it is, uh, I mean, it's absolutely extraordinary. It's kept in that bottle for a reason. <laughs> Dane, what do you think you'd go for if you were to win? I like the pocket watch. Mm. I never had a pocket watch before. Yeah. I never I had know, a pocket something, watch. Something nice It'd be classy, wouldn't it? Have, have you got a pocket? Uh, well, you need to have a minute. pocket to put it in. I think That's Dane would look nice really. in the dressing gown. Yeah. Dane last time won the first four days as well. Dane had uh, quite a week. He's got quite a haul of prizes. Are you going to wow. add to it this week? Who is going to take away our trophy? Who's going to win on Monday? Should we play House of Games Champions? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Our first round is... Rhyme time. We've all played it before, I think. I'll ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. OK, give me both answers. Here is your first question. Acting Oscar winner for Monsters Ball. And Teenagers, played by Enfield and Burke. That is Dane. Halle Berry and Kevin and Perry. Halle Berry, Thank Kevin you. and Perry. Yeah. Strong start. Yeah. Dane Baptiste. Yeah. Nicely done. Very good. Next question. What are these? And what are these? Kate. Grasshoppers and Dealey Boppers. That's correct. Well done. Grasshoppers and Dealey Boppers uh, is the answer. Next question. First pop idol runner up. An Irish poet who won the 1923 Nobel Prize in Literature. Yes, that is Kate. Gareth Gates, uh, WB Yates. Wow, oh. wow. how about that? Well done, Kate. Let's take a look at your next question. A sailing boat with two parallel hulls of equal size and biscuit made in the shape of a stylized human. Richard. Catamaran gingerbread man. Oh. Catamaran gingerbread man. That's cool. It's mm. the right answer. Oh. Next question. Who is this? And what's the title of this song? Richard. Mark Commode, Yellow Brick Road. Yacht Commode, Yellow Brick I'll give you Yacht Mark Commode, goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Yeah. Give you Yellow Brick Road. Oh, John, of course. Next question. Politician who became UK Prime Minister in July 2016. And subtitle of the 1991 action thriller Terminator 2. Yes, Dane. Uh, Theresa May and Judgment Day. Well played. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. What is this? And what's the title of this song? Yes, that is Dane. Is it Teletext and 
If You Tolerate This Your Children will be next. Tella oh. Tixon, If You Tolerate This Your Children will be next. Okay. Okay. That was all on CFAX. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> it was a song. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your final question in this round. Two-word Latin phrase for a method of doing something. And thank you, next singer. Ariana. Yes. Modus operandi, Ariana Grande. Oh. Modus operandi, oh. Ariana Grande <laughs> is the right answer. <laughs> Fun to say, well, isn't it? Should we take a look at the scores at the end of round one? Do you need to get off the mark? Kate, you have two. We have joint leaders, Richard and Dane, three points each. Ooh. Should we play round two? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Round two today is going to be. Distinctly average. It's oh. a pairs game. The player in the last place gets to choose their partner. That great privilege falls to you today, June. Who would you like to play with? Dane. You're going to play with Dane? Yeah. So, June and Kate, if you swap places, please. Okay. Hello, Kate. Lovely to have you down here. Hello. Nice to see you. Exciting to be at this end. Kate and Richard are a team. Yes. Uh, June and Dane are a team. If you yeah. take out your <laughs> tablets, please. OK. We're going to play okay. distinctly average. Now, you know how this works. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. Write down a number uh, in answer, and I will take the average of each pair's answers. All right. OK, here's your first question. According to the UK government's website, <laughs> how many successful fishing rod licence applications were there between October 2016 and September 2017? According to that website. OK. I mean, you, you knew it would come up. I can't believe we didn't revise it. I'm always on that fishing rod website. <laughs> I, I, um, <laughs> when I'm bored, I just surf it and I get so much information. It is fascinating. Um... Kate, what have you said? Well, every time I go near a river, there are loads of people fishing. So, uh, it, uh, maybe I've gone a bit high, but I thought 500,000. Ooh, 500,000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, our average might come out... Well, I've gone, I've gone a little low. I've gone for 10,000. 10,000. So, your average is 255,000. June, what have you gone for? Yeah, I've gone for 180,000. 180,000, says June. Dane, up mm -hmm. or down from 180? Significantly less. Um, <laughs> because I, I feel like successful application was a big part of the question. Yeah. Okay. And mm. I think that, I think people tend to fish for like cosmetic reasons or for like pastimes. I'm not sure if everyone is that dedicated to the litigation involved. Okay. So I've got twelve. Is it? So 12, I've gone for the very got... conservative thirteen thousand. Uh, thirteen thousand. And I feel like there was a lot of political unrest around the time. Yeah. Which may have affected fishing rights anyway. I mean, wouldn't I'm... it have been interesting if we, you and I, had been paired together and you two had been paired <laughs> yeah, together? But how different the results would have been. I mean, quite. <laughs> I also commend everyone on the on on their drawings, which are terrific. Okay. So we have 255,000 with Kate and Richard, and June and Dane have said 96,500. So what do you think mm. at home? Uh, do you mm. fish at home? You've got a licence. Let's take a look. What's the answer? And who has scored a point? 1.16 million was the answer. Wow. Kate, you're the... Uh, you're wow. the uh, Everyone, so I was closer than I thought. My so fish Richard, were right. Yeah. You get a point even though you are over a million out. <laughs> I, I thought it might be a million and I thought everyone would laugh at me. So. Next question. In centimetres, oh. what is the men's world record for the triple jump held by Jonathan Edwards since 1995? Oh. You're right. Yeah, it's a, it's a long way, isn't it? They jump a long way. Yeah, yeah they jump a long way. Hmm. June, what have you said? 2,000 centimetres. 2,000 centimetres. So it's like 20... Odd metres. Yeah. 2,000. I think it was so around 18 June. metres or something he jumped, wasn't it? I would have said 1,800 then. But, but I head. thought just in case he went low, that's why I've gone a bit Oh, low. OK. Oh, wow. Let's hope he hasn't gone high. Yeah. Dane, <laughs> what have you said? You should have, have more faith in me, Miss Sarpong. Oh! 1,800. 1,800. Yeah. 1,800, he said. <laughs> so your average, I can work it in my head, 1,900. Kate. I think I thought this was a long jump, so I think I've got a bit muddled. So, 400 centimetres. 400. Oh, that might, that might be good for us. 400. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> is it not? What is the triple oh, really? jump? So, what is it? Is it... It's, like a, it's like a hop. Well, they call it hop, skip and yeah. jump. It's essentially yeah. three jumps. Uh, jump, jump, what, boom. Uh, boom. You count all of uh, it. You count the whole lot. Yes, yeah. I thought it was a long jump. Well, my fault. Yeah. Richard, I think you're, you're going to drag us up. I'm going to put us up a little. I've gone for. Th I thought it was about 30 metres because it's a long jump. It's all the hop, skip and the jump. About 100 it? feet. 
<laughs> well, so, it's a good job. It's a long I, way. I, I, I sensed the that Kate was going to go low, Thank so you, I thought I'd go high. But listen, your average, your average is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be actually pretty impressive. Your average oh. is 1,700. Yeah, yeah there we go. It's quite Very close. Geez. Wow. What is the answer and which team has won the point? It's going to be very close. Yes. 1,829. Oh, very well done. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'm very nearly bang on. Both of you there. Final question in this round. According to the Association of Accounting Technicians, the average British worker will spend how many hours at work in their lifetime? Oh, this is one where you can do some maths, right? Yeah. Uh, that does not include overtime. Shall we start with Dane? Dane, what was your what was your thinking, and then what number did you come to? Uh, usually, to master something, they say ten thousand hours. Mm. Okay. I said like ten thousand hours to master something, and then I just said probably double that because you're you're still at work. <laughs> okay. And then I did another four thousand hours, so I said twenty four thousand <laughs> hours. Twenty four thousand says Dane. Are you going up or down from that June? Up. Yeah. Yeah. What so, was your working out? Well, I sort of did the average working week type thing. And then I thought, actually, people are working late longer now in yeah. terms of pension age. So I thought, um, 50,000 hours. 50,000, says June. Uh, so your average is 37,000 hours. Mm -hmm. Richard, what have you said? Well, I thought I did, I thought I did the calculation, but I did it quite quickly. Uh -oh. I, I, when I, I did too few weeks, I think. But um, I've come at uh, 9,019. 9,019 hours. Kate, are you going up or down from that? I'm going a bit up to uh, 90,000. 90,000. Okay, so, again, we made again. It's going to be. So I uh, said eight, eight hours a day times 200 days a year that you're actually working, apart from weekends and yeah. holidays yeah. and things. And then um, times that by 45, roughly how many years yeah. you might work. Mm. Um, and uh, obviously, I had to do 80,000 plus 10, so that's why I got to 90,000. 90,000. Mine so might was... be 90,000. I think I might have missed it. Oh, OK, it. yeah, that, that would make a lot more <laughs> yeah. I have to say, I mean, that's a, that's a, mm. yeah, that's an easy life you'd have there. And your average, Kate and Richard, is 49,509 and then half an hour just at, uh, <laughs> at the end of Friday because it's someone's leaving due and you have to stick around. <laughs> what do you think at home? What number have you come up with with your calculations? What's the real number and who has won the point? Yeah. 84,000. Oh. Kate and Richard hey, in the point. You Kate. Good. Yeah. Very nicely done. Well, it must roughly be that, right? Yes, yeah. I, that's, what I yeah. like, that's what I feel like. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I was going. 90,000 was what I did. Hey, listen, mate, mean. you got the point. Yeah, you know, take it. it's all right. Uh, <laughs> that is the end of that round, Kate and Jim. If you want to swap back round yeah. again, please. Nice have this you, away. Bye, Richard. Bye, see Kate. It's been so nice to see you. Great to see you. Don't be a stranger. Hello, Hello, June. Hi. I remember you. Yeah. Uh, should we Did take a look at the me? scores at the end of yeah. round two? Oh, you got away with a bit there, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> you somehow managed to get two points out of that round, I think. Um, <laughs> I think I was the worst on every single Oh, my answer. God, he's winning! I know. <laughs> That's because he get a really helpful good partner. Yeah. Yeah. Good partner. Should have chosen Kate. Uh, <laughs> I know June. all about fishing rods. <laughs> June, you have one. Kate and Dane, you have four each. Richard, our current leader, with five points. Every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. You don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. The next round is... Z to A. I'm going to show you three clues at a time. I'm going to fill in them letter by letter, from Z up to A. Just buzz in as soon as you know what connects these three. Richard. Uh, they're dandy Beano characters. Which one? Beano characters. They are Beano <laughs> characters. Well played. <laughs> Roger the Dodger. Well, Dennis yeah. the Medicine. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Next three. What connects these, please? Yes, Kate. The types of bread. The types of bread. Sounds like Dotty yeah. Sourdough. Dotty Sourdough. Well done. Well done, Kate. I'm always thinking of food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what connects these three, please? Fingers on buzzers. Uh, Richard. European capitals. 
European Capitals is the correct answer. Zagreb, Stockholm, Valletta. Next question. Yes, Richard. They blew Peter Petz. Well played, oh, Willow Golden. Wow. Petra, very nice. Example. In the zone. Oh. Good at this, isn't it? I was still yes. on Next one. What connects these three, please? Kate. Art galleries. That's correct. Well done. Here's your next one. What connects these three, please? Richard. British rappers. That's the right answer. Well played. Dizzy Rascal, Stormzy and Professor Green. Well played, Richard. Mm. Next one. What connects these three, please? Yes, Richard. Martial arts. Oh, yeah. Martial arts. Yeah. Just yeah. got the buzzer before everyone else. Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, and Judo. Yeah. Final question in the Richard Herring round. <laughs> <laughs> what connects these three? Yes, that is Dane. Awards. Uh, awards. Yeah. awards, well played. Yeah. Very good round for Richard there. Shall we take a look at the scores? <laughs> Two rounds Thank to go. Lost. June's on one there. Dane has five. Kate has six. A four point lead. Richard Herring, ten points. <laughs> Two rounds to go. Can he hold on? Let's find out as we play round four, mm -hmm. which is. Oh. Uh, where oh. is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good news for everybody. <laughs> Tablets out, please. I'm going to show you a map. I'm then going to ask. I, think, oh, yeah. I, I, I believe I'm in the House of Games book about how wrong I got it last time. <laughs> yep. you, you, are, you are indeed, which is quite something. <laughs> Let's take a look at what your map is. Because you're champions, your map is a map of the entire world. Oh, come on, Richard. Oh. Map of the world. <laughs> OK, I want you, please, to find the following. I want you to find the headquarters of the International Monetary Fund, please. Hmm. So, June, where did you think they are? DC. Based? Washington, DC. Yeah. Okay, let's see where you put that on the map. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is... Uh, uh, Canada? <laughs> I mean, it's more sort of Texas. Texas. Yeah. More kind of, There's uh, lots of money in Texas, isn't there? Yeah. Richard, what did you think the answer was? Well, I knew it was in the world. Oh, well, well done. And so I kind of went in the middle of the world. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> I, I went for sort of Switzerland, but I, th I think that's probably wrong. Oh, OK. So you've gone in the middle of Europe. There you go. Kate, did you know the answer? Uh, I thought it was in New York. Let's see where you've gone. Yeah, that's kind of New York-y. Dane, where did you think it was? I think I had the same thinking along Richard's lines. I felt Switzerland sounded like, you know, very yeah. money-focused, neutral. A lot of it goes on in that sort of place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Swiss-ish area. Swiss-ish. Yeah, Swiss-ish. We've got two Swiss-ish. We've got uh, two Americans. Only one person here knows where the IMF is based, and that is June because it's based in Washington, D.C. <laughs> you would hope that, that would mean that I June was going to get the points. I thought it was East but, uh, Coast. I worry... But that, that's where Kate is on the East Coast. I know. So let's find out who's won the point. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I mean... Look at that, pretty vindication. Much bang on. <laughs> pretty much bang on. Yeah, I so. thought I'd be to the building. <laughs> <laughs> a moral point for June for knowing the actual answer and a point Sorry, for Kate June. for uh, getting near us. Right. Uh, I wonder if you could find the following for me, oh, please. Oh, gosh. The Galapagos Islands, visited by Charles Darwin in Ooh. 1835. Where are the Galapagos? Hmm. What do you think at home on this one?
Richard, what do you think? Now, you just said well, you I think I've them. changed my mind. I think it's a bit further up. I know it's somewhere South America-ish, but I think it's probably oh. nearer the top of South America. But I've gone a bit too Arctic, I think, because it's okay. giant tortoises, isn't it? So I've gone down a bit the bottom of South America. Oh, yeah. That's I like Falklands, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit too mm. wet, a bit are. too cold. Yeah. Kate, did you know the answer to this? Uh, I thought it was taking a piece from Argentina, so I kind of put it in a similar place to Richard. OK. Dane, what did you think? Now, on reflection, I feel like Galapagos does sound kind of quasi-Spanish. Yeah. So I probably should have gone for that, but... But then I tried to think of the wildlife you see in the Galapagos Islands, and I was like, more Pacific Ocean. Oh, gotcha. So the all way over there. Dane's off, gone. Australasia. Me too. So there's Dane, just north of Fiji. June, you were thinking the same? Same area, yeah. Let's take a look at where June is. Philippines. So let's find out where they are, but let's find out who has won a point. I They're mean... just doing the sums upstairs. Kate, you are the closest again. <laughs> hey. Wow. What a, Slightly what off. What a round you're having. <laughs> this is like Richard's round two. <laughs> you know me in geography, Richard. I'm just so strong on it. <laughs> but there they are, right at the top of South America there. They're on the, well, sort of roughly, must be on the equator, right? Final question in this round. Oh, here we go. We've oh. never done Kazakhstan before. <laughs> this is literally where is Kazakhstan, because you're champions. We are bringing out the big guns. Where is the capital of Kazakhstan? Hmm. Kate, we will start with you. Uh, where have you gone? What was your thinking? Well, uh, I, I obviously near Russia, but in Asia, because uh, it is in Asia, uh, oh. so I uh, put it... Uh, Let's take a look where Kate there. is. Nice, that looks kind of reasonable, <laughs> right? Thank you. Uh, Dane, uh, are you agreeing or disagreeing on that? Same thinking. I kind of worked my way back from the Indian subcontinent, then Pakistan, and then Waziristan, Dagestan, Uzbekistan. So, yeah. So very similar place. Very similar place. June, where have you gone? Well, I was aiming for a similar place, but I've gone somewhere else. Let's so. see where June has gone. OK, gotcha. And Richard, where have you gone? <laughs> no, I'm not in the right place, I don't think. Uh, I was... I don't know where Kazakhstan is, so I'm going to level with you. OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know what, it's a very brave man. Yeah. So I went sort of uh, in the, uh, a bit further over to the west. OK. I've lost One them. of you is in Bulgaria. That's Richard. One of you is on the border of China and Russia. That is June. Now, Kate and Dane, one of you is in Kyrgyzstan and one of you is in Kazakhstan. Wow! <laughs> oh. This is very good. Let's find out who's in Kazakhstan, who has won the point. Kate wins wow. the point again. Wow. Wow. Well done, Kate, you're Kate. in Kazakhstan there. Absolutely yeah. bang on. <laughs> very nicely like done. I read the map, but, like, briefly. <laughs> And was that like, was, yeah, I know where it is. Cool, mm -hmm. that, that was close, though. Um, that's the end of that round. The tablets away, well please. Well done, Kate. Oh. What a round for Kate Williams. Uh, <laughs> it was nice that, in the end, you did actually deserve one. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice finish. <laughs> one round to go. Let's take a look at the scores. Kate picked up a few points there. June, you still have one. Dane, five. It's close at the top now. He had a four-point lead. Now he's wow. only got a one-point lead. Richard, ten. Final Kate, nine. Final round. Come on, Kate. Oh. Very nice. She's been good. Uh, it's anyone's game. We'll share that wine on the way home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll say it's not anyone's game. <laughs> is what I would say. <laughs> maybe definitely between, not my game. I mean, it would be quite a turnaround, June, if you could do it. <laughs> not happening. Um, let's play our final round, shall we? It is... Not be footballers. <laughs> Answer smashed. OK, fingers on buzzers, everyone. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. You'll see a picture, there'll be a clue underneath. Smash them together, please. There's one point between our two leaders at the moment. Here we go, best of luck. Your first category is... 80s music acts. Those will be the pictures, there'll be clues underneath. Which charity telethon was first broadcast in 1988? Yes, Richard. McHucknell. No, it's right. It's not. You lose a point, I'm afraid. Dane. Simply Red Nose Day. Is it Simply oh, Red Nose Day? Yeah. It is. Simply it is. Red, Red Nose Day. Yeah. Simply Red Nose Day. Well played, Dane. Point to you. Next picture, next clue. Which 2006 film stars Samuel L. Jackson as an FBI agent who has to deal with dangerous creatures that are released on an aircraft? 
Yes, that is Dane. White snakes on a plane? Yeah. Is it oh. white snakes oh, on a plane? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. we've got it. White snakes, snakes on a plane. Well played, Dane. Dane. Surely he's not going to overcome a five-point deficit. He that would might. be quite something. Next picture, next clue. What was the former name of the country now known as Iran? Uh, yes, Cindy Lau Persia. Is it Cindy Lau Persia? <laughs> it is. Well done. That settled the nerves a little bit. Yeah. The next category is condiments. In Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels, which island inhabited by people under six inches tall does Gulliver swim to after being shipwrecked? Yes, Richard. Dilly Lily Pushins. Oh, Dilly Lily Pushins is incorrect, oh. I'm afraid. Dane oh. beats Kate to the buzzer. Is it Dilly Putt? It is not Dilly oh. Putt. I'm so sorry, you lose a point as well, Kate. Dilly Pushins. No, it's incorrect. Oh, yeah, oh, I've read the question properly now. <laughs> June, any ideas? No. It's pick a lily put, pick a lily and lily put. Very well done if you said pick a lily put at home. Next condiment and next clue. Meaning another I. In Latin, what two word term is used in English to mean a person's secondary personality? Yes, Richard. Oh, it's saying salted, I was going to say, but... It's incorrect, I'm afraid, not salted. Yes, Dane? Salted ego. Salted salt ego oh. is the answer. Salt and alter ego. Salted ego. Ooh. It is very close to the top of the lead yeah. right now. Next condiment and next clue. Which Clapham-inspired song by Squeeze reached number two in the UK singles chart in July 1979? Yes, Kate? Catch up the junction. It is. Oh. Catch up the junction, catch up and up the junction. That looks like a weird kind of catch up. What? <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? You would send that back. Next category. Oh. Done it. We're okay. done with categories. Well done. You have, you have. Richard had a four point lead at one point. Yeah. Has he thrown it away? You lost yeah. a couple of points in that. I did, I did. did. But Kate lost a point. But she Dane got yeah, the old well. salt yeah. ego did the it. The only person not to lose a point was June. She only <laughs> had one to lose. Has she done it at the last minute? Let's find out. Uh, they're all winners. All four of them are winners. One of them is going to win Monday's House of Games House of Champions. Who is it? It's Kate Williams. Yes! Nine points. Well done, Kate. Well done. That was Kate, you're our winner on Monday. Yeah. You get to take home a prize. What would you like to take home? Oh, my gosh. I am um, There's the dressing gown, the bookends, the pocket watch, wine oh, and I'm, the dartboard. They're board. also amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. I, I, I think I'd like the pocket watch, actually. Oh, oh like lovely. Watch. Well, it looks perfect for I'm, an historian. I'm always in Victorian <laughs> London in my mind. a lovely... I, I love it. ...golden pocket watch. Kate Williams takes home a house of pocket watch. Yay! Let's take our first look at the weekly leaderboard to see what points you're taking through to tomorrow. Kate, you're taking four, Richard three, Dane two, June, you're taking through one. Plenty of time to get more points on the board, though. Great show today, Richard. Yeah. I thought you absolutely had that. Uh, very nice finish there from Kate. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you, the four of you, same time, same place tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. It is half past six. No, it's, that's it's half past clever. six. It's time to. It's home time. <laughs>